Hi, and welcome to CPS Energy Savers Home Manager Tutorial Setup. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up and program your home manager system. Before we get started, it's important to point out some facts about your newly installed home manager. Your home manager will start managing your energy usage as soon as the monitoring equipment is installed. Until you have created your personal online account, your equipment will be managed by the default program, which may not suit your lifestyle. Also, programming your thermostat, water heater, and pool pump can only be done using the internet. In a while, I'll show you how you can create your CPS Energy Savers Home Manager programs that fit your personal preference. But first, let's create your personal account. Before we get started, you'll need to have your 10-digit account number ready. You can find it in the upper right-hand corner of your CPS Energy bill. Let's get started. Type in www.cpsenergysavers.com slash home manager. Then click on the home manager login button. Because this is your first time logging in, select the setup now button. Fill in the appropriate fields, then click on the find account button. Verify that your information is correct, then click save and continue. Next, Follow the instructions to create a username and password. This will be used to log on to your online personal account. Make sure to write this information inside your home manager's guide for future reference. Last, answer the secret question. The secret question and answer will help us identify you should you forget your password. Then click on the save and continue button. That's it. You have now successfully created your online personal account. Now that you've created your online personal account, you will be prompt to create a set of four basic programs by answering a few simple questions. Answering this questionnaire is a simple three-step process that you must complete before you can start enjoying the benefits of Home Manager. In total, the questions below will create four programs, weekdays, weekends, vacation, and work from home. If you have an electric water heater or pool pump, you will also schedule when those devices turn on and off. Keep in mind that if you don't complete this questionnaire, your thermostat and other controlled devices will run according to a default program, which again, may or may not fit your lifestyle. I'm going to answer each question according to my lifestyle. You will do the same for yours. Once you're done answering the questions, click the Review Settings button. Step two is the Review screen. Here's where you will review your program settings. These scheduled settings will be based on your answers to the questionnaire. Now, if you've made a mistake, no problem. Just click on the back Change My Answers button to make your changes. If you're satisfied with your settings, simply click on the Save and Apply button. This will override the Home Manager default program. Your new program settings will be transmitted to your appliances. When the program transmission is complete, you will see the updated appliance settings on your personal homepage, which is found under the Home tab. At any time, you can use the Program Management tab to review the programs you've created. You can also create additional programs and review progress for the day on which they run. Let me show you how to add a new program setting. First, let's click on the Add Program button. Next, we're going to name it. I'm going to name this one Holiday. Now we'll click on a specific day. For this day, I'm going to choose July 4th. Next, I'm going to add a date range. Let's go from July 4th to July 4th. Then I'm going to add a transition point for the HVAC and the water heater. Once you've added the transition points, click on the Save Application button. And that's it. You've just created a new program for your home manager. If at any time you don't understand something, you can go to the Knowledge Center tab. The Knowledge Center contains information that will help you obtain the most benefit from your CPS Energy Savers Home Manager system. You'll find information like understanding your personal homepage, 
You'll learn the different functions of the thermostat. And you'll also learn what a conservation event is. Let's talk about that now. When you sign up for the Home Manager program, you help CPS Energy to curtail power usage during periods of excessive demand, known as a conservation event. Using state-of-the-art software and Verizon wireless technology, a signal is sent to your home manager to save small amounts of energy at a particular time. The energy saved helps to keep our Texas state grid and our community from experiencing possible rolling blackouts. Here's what you can expect during a conservation event. Your managed devices are adjusted by CPS Energy to conserve electricity. This is done within the parameters of your online program and should not significantly affect your comfort. During a conservation event, your HVAC system's temperature will be adjusted to no more than 4 degrees below normal heating temperature and no more than 4 degrees above your normal cooling temperature at the time the conservation event starts. Your other managed devices, the water heater and the pool pump, will be cycled off during the conservation event. Now keep in mind that a conservation event adjusts only your managed devices, the HVAC system, water heater, and pool pump. All other electrical devices will remain fully operational. Oftentimes you may not even be aware that a conservation event is taking place, though you may notice some change in the temperature of your home or that your water is not as hot as expected. There are two ways to know if a conservation event is in progress. You can log on to your personal account. If a conservation event is happening, then the conservation event in progress box will appear on your dashboard, which is found under the home tab. You can also tell by looking at the thermostat. The conservation event indicator will be lit. Now we understand that there will be times when a conservation event is happening at the wrong time for you. Therefore, we've made it easy for you to opt out of the conservation event at any time. There are two ways to opt out of a conservation event. You can opt out from your dashboard in the conservation event in progress box by clicking resume my programming. The message in the box will change and then the box then will be removed from your dashboard. The light on your thermostat will also be switched off. To opt out from your thermostat, you can change the target temperature by touching the up and down arrows. The conservation event light will then be switched off. Keep in mind, opting out from a thermostat returns only the HVAC system to a normal operation. Your other equipment remains switched off for the remainder of the event, or until you remove it from the event using the dashboard. On behalf of CPS Energy, we thank you for joining the Home Manager program, and we hope that you enjoy the comfort, convenience, and the savings it will bring to you and your home. If you'd like to learn more, please refer to your CPS Energy Savers Home Manager Guidebook or click the Knowledge Center at any time. Or if you'd like to speak to somebody about your home manager, you can call 210-353-4511 or you can email your questions to homemanager at cpsenergy.com.